Hey, what's up? Carl Schuf here from Snorkel.tv, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I came across a question in the Adobe Animate CC for Animators group, and it says, Hello, I'm a beginner in Animate CC. Can someone teach me how to make an egg cracking animation in Animate CC like this? And so what they posted was a picture of an egg and two eggs cracking. So you got to sort of fill in the blanks of what they want, but I figured, you know what? Why don't I take a crack at this? So for something like this, I'm not going for perfection. I just want to show the basic, you know, mechanics and setup, if you will. So using the oval tool, I'll draw an oval and then maybe use the selection tool to just sort of elongate the top, maybe squash the bottom a little bit. All right, and we have a basic egg shape. And I'll probably want to use a gradient fill. So let me just select that fill there. I'll go over, pop in the default gradient. Go to the color mixer and we'll start with white and the end color will maybe be some sort of a uh, brown to sort of match the design. It's a little reddish again, pick your own colors. Um, by hitting F I have the gradient transform tool so just do something like this, I don't know. And that probably looks pretty darn close to uh, the original drawing. Um, maybe I can smooth this out a little bit, I don't know. Eggs aren't perfect, so there we go. Pretty cool egg. So what we're gonna do is try to crack it a little bit. So I'll just use the pencil tool, and I have it set to straighten, and I'm just gonna do some and then when I release, you get those nice clean lines uh, that are all straight. I'm gonna take this top shape and just move it up a few pixels. I'm gonna get rid of this stroke here. All right, cool. And I'm gonna select this guy, hit F8 to convert to symbol. I'm gonna call it egg top. Uh, we'll put the registration point in the center and there we go. So let me just take this egg top and move it down a little bit. So it's not even cracked here, but I do want to, let's cut it out. So command X to cut it and I'm gonna put it in its own layer. So layer one, I'm gonna call egg bottom, something like that. Off screen, it's saying special characters are not permitted. Okay, this is new and animate, I believe, so it's going to put an underscore in there. And let me just put in another layer and I'm going to call it egg underscore top. And then Command Shift V is a paste in place and it puts it exactly where it needs to be. So here we have something that looks like a whole egg. Let me just go out to frame number 50 hit F5 so that I have frames in both those layers there. All right, so maybe we're staring at our little fun egg here and then around frame 10, I'm gonna add a keyframe and maybe we start to see a little bit of a crack. What I'm gonna do is use the free transform tool and I'm gonna set my, my uh, transformation point somewhere around here, okay? And then check it out. I'm just gonna do a little teensy weensy like this, all right? So look, it hatched. And then in frame, you know, maybe two frames out, bring it back down again, and then maybe another few frames later. You know, we'll just build a little bit of anticipation. We'll crack up a little bit more. And then we're like, what's going on? So let's just see how that looks. All right, so just a little bit of a sort of a shake. And then what we can do, you know, we could have it close again. I don't really care right now. Let's just start tweeting this guy. So in frame number 20, I'll F6 to add a keyframe and maybe I'll pop it off sort of like that. And then we'll right click, create classic tween. So now it's sort of like opening up and then maybe in frame number 25, we do F6 and we'll throw it all the way around like this onto the floor create classic tween. So here we have the egg sort of popping up and then you can do whatever you want. Maybe uh, in the next frame here, I'll put the uh, transformation point here and then we'll just do a slight little uh, rotation, another keyframe, and maybe this thing can, you know, scooch down. I don't know. Again, I'm doing this so super fast just to give you an idea of one way to approach it. So let me just play this. All right, not the best. You know, some of these tweens are a little bit awkward. Shift F5. So what I'm gonna tell you people a zillion times is that you can set the basics up in like no time at all, 
but to make a really good animation it could probably take another few hours of like really uh, working it out but there you go you have an egg popping open and it's pretty cool now so one thing I realized is like I was sort of a bonehead and I drew this egg kind of to the left and now this part of the egg is off the stage so a little bit of a pro tip if you will here we're gonna do an edit multiple frames so let's just go over here blah 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 which one is it edit multiple frames we're gonna pull this guy out here this one here and I'm just gonna do a command a and that selects everything in every frame and let me just bring it over to the center here like this and then now let me just export our final and let's see what we got all right so again that's quick it's scrappy but that's all it takes and if you're really just starting out with animate cc um, check out my course i've got this free preview and what that's going to do is give you access to a whole bunch of lessons that are totally introductory and free that are going to walk you through uh, working with keyframes, the timeline, blank keyframes, and all that kind of stuff. So you get half a dozen or so awesome videos that are going to really help you out as a beginner. So again, it's free. Check it out, and I hope you'll like it. So I hope this little video helped you. Be good. Hey, what's up? Real quick, if you like the video, please consider giving a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to get notified when new videos come out, just click that little bell. Ding dong. If you got any comments, leave them below. I'll read every one and do my best to help you. Have an awesome day.